HHT is a genetic disorder of the blood vessels. In severe cases, it can lead to sudden bleeding or even stroke. It affects more than one in 5,000 people, but 90% of all people with HHT don't even know they have it. Now, new research may unlock the mystery behind the disease and give patients the best chance for treatment and a cure. 31-year-old Lindsay Leskowak has a full house, four kids, Nora, age five, newborn baby, Hattie, Thomas, age three, and Charlotte, who is two. Yeah, That's a nice tower. Five months ago, Charlotte began limping, <coughs> then suddenly was unable to walk. They had told us that there was a very good chance that she would never walk again. Doctors found a venous malformation on Charlotte's spine and began to suspect the genetic disorder, hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia, or HHT. With HHT, weak connections between arteries and veins can cause uncontrollable bleeding. One of the telltale signs is frequent severe nosebleeds. I got them really bad in college. I thought they had radiators there, and I just we always had forced air, you know, and I just thought it was the radiators. Going okay? Yeah, it's going well. Mm -hmm. Developmental biologist Beth Roman is working to pinpoint the cause of HHT. Inside her genetics lab, Professor Roman is studying zebrafish, which develop their veins and arteries the same way mammals do. This is the shunt, the vascular shunt that's formed up here. Professor Roman has identified abnormal cells in the lining of the blood vessels in HHT lesions, a first step toward developing a treatment. I think this disease is, is often overlooked and it's absolutely underdiagnosed. Professor Roman says for now it's crucial to identify HHT patients and monitor critical areas in the lung, liver, and brain. My infant is going for an MRI of her brain on Sunday because she's at highest risk for a brain aneurysm. And part of me thinks, like, this is a nightmare. But the other part of me feels like maybe Charlotte might save somebody else's life. The entire family has since had genetic testing. Lindsay recently learned she, her sister, and her mother have the condition. Lindsay's baby Hattie may have a malformation in her brain. In the meantime, Charlotte has regained her ability to walk with a leg brace and continues with physical therapy.